What is up everybody? It is your boy Field Mouse bringing you some more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay, of course. Uh, today I am bringing you a very fun class that I use every time I play Domination on the map Whiteout. It is a Danger Close class and it is very nasty. You will get a lot of kills with it. Before I get into that, I am going to I'm going to be doing a little giveaway. When I make it to 30 subscribers, I'm going to pick two people at random, and I will be sending the two people, the two winners, a free pair of Control Freak thumbsticks. I just got me a pair recently, and they're a nice addition to your controller. It it does make it a little bit better. Um, I'm still getting used to them because it does raise your thumbs up, you know, quite a bit off the off the thumbsticks. But it is a nice touch and. That is my treat to you, seeing that, you know, Christmas is just around the corner. Hopefully I can make it there before then. If not, I'll still send them. That is my treat to you. That is my thank you for subscribing to my channel. And after we make it there, uh, I will, you know, I'll pick another number of subscribers and I will do another giveaway. Um, that's just my treat to you, you know, for viewing my channel viewing my videos that is my thank you so i really appreciate it and let's get into this gameplay it is a canister bomb setup this canister bomb setup is nasty you will get tons of kills when you use it it works best on this map around b flag simply because b flag is in a cave and the enemy really has nowhere to go like once they're in the cave, they're in the cave. So this this class setup is nasty. Um, primary weapon really don't matter. Pick you a weapon that you're good with. Put attachments on it if you want. Don't run attachments. I don't care. It does not matter. Pick something you're good with. Pick something you can get killed with. Uh, sidearm. MK32. It is the revolving Simtech shooter that I have come to hate if people use it on me but it is a lot of fun and you will get kills with it of course you gotta have canister bombs on canister bombs are really good if you have the right perk set up uh, perks strong arm reflex extra lethal danger close uh, strong arm just simply because if you don't have strong arm on it, you, your dude really don't throw canister bombs very far it, it seems like he throws it like two feet and that's it so put strong arm on, it will make a hell of a difference. So I highly suggest strong arm. Reflex is just because, you know, it takes a minute to throw canister bombs if you don't have it on. So put reflex on and you will throw them like very quickly. Extra lethal, obviously, so you can have another lethal. So yeah, that's, you know, I'm not thinking about that one. You want two of them, just, you know, extra kills. Danger close is for the big boom, and I assure you, you will get a lot of kills with these canister bomb and this MK32 grenades. But <clears throat> basically, what you do is get that class set up, hang around the B flag as much as you can. When the enemy is trying to cap it, throw a canister bomb nearly anywhere in the cave, and you will most of the time get a kill. You'll, you know, 98% of the time, you will get a kill off these canister bombs. And then just, you know, you can work it however you want to. You can do your MK32 first, and then save your canister bombs for last. It doesn't matter. You will get kills, though. But, <clears throat> anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps. Uh, try this class out. Uh, mix it up with the perks, and let me know if you find something different that helps more. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, give the video a like, and I will catch y'all on my next video. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Thank you.